So Vardan, Divine Pisces, 222. It is Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. I've been guided to do more of a healing update for you guys. Uh, what are we healing? Where are we at in our healing? Um, I mean, the flow is going to be the same. I'll, I'll look at overall energies, divine masculine, divine feminine, and then healing within the connection. And of course, I'm going to end with messages. Um, and then advice specifically geared towards your healing and what we need to look forward to, okay? So some of you right now have been triggered by some sort of communication, information, something that has come forward, possibly about your connection, okay? Um, could be about an external situation but some of you are very very triggered right now by this message okay by this communication by this information that has come forward and it could also be from source it could be from um you know an external party it, it could be really from anything at this point so just take it as it resonates but i feel a lot of you are very triggered about that it has triggered some anxiety maybe some codependent habits have resurfaced, you know, addictions, drinking, you know, some sort of coping mechanism. It doesn't have to be, you know, substance abuse or anything like that. It can be anything that helps you cope, okay? It could be a shopping addiction, you know? Um, so, and I'm getting that a lot of you, th this message is actually not necessarily connected to, well, related to your connection specifically, but it could impact your connection, okay? Um, so some of you, I feel, have been triggered back into bad habits, okay? And, and some of you right now also are kind of limiting yourself at this point. You're feeling like not only are you trapped, not really, but you feel like you are, um, but that if you do make a movement, if you do make a change, that somehow it's going to make you feel even more trapped. And that, I feel like, is inducing self-sabotage at this point for a lot of you. Okay, so whatever this was that triggered you, um, I do feel is kind of clouding your judgment a little bit, okay? And some of you are overthinking this quite a bit. So this trigger that's come in has kind of forced you back into, <laughs> kind of back into hermit mode right now, okay? Um, and a lot of you are thinking about the expectations that are around you. So... A lot of you are healing expectations, a lot of you are recognizing expectations, and you're healing that, okay, and you're healing the karma that comes along with it as well, okay? So right now, uh, overall, healing-wise, I feel like a lot of you are really focusing on the expectations that have been placed on you and the expectations of the connection itself. And some of you are starting to recognize some of the expectations that you have placed on the connection. Um, which is something else that is needing to be addressed and healed, okay? So let's take a look at Divine Masculine and see where he is and his healing, what he's healing. Yeah. Well, Hermit Mode, boom, there you go. So Divine Masculine triggered back into Hermit Mode here to address some of his healing, okay? Address some of his karma that's coming in. And a lot of them right now, what they are healing, of course, you know, surprise, surprise, um, is their ability to... Um, recognize what they're feeling and express what they're feeling without fear and right now divine masculine definitely has his guard up okay to, to everybody i do feel okay and that's what this hermit mode is doing it's, it's it's helping him to come again come to terms with himself so divine masculine very very triggered here okay i'm um, not really quite feeling strong enough at this point and some of them some of them are healing their money issues. Some of them do have financial issues. They're in codependency uh, financially, especially, okay? And they're healing that. Some of them are dependent on family members. Some of them are dependent on a karmic partner, on a job, what have you, okay? And so right now, I feel that Divine Masculine is, is healing this codependency here, okay? And they're being pushed to recognize how they feel. Um, so they may actually be switching from their masculine energy into the feminine energy again um to address that okay 
Because, yeah, because a lot of them, you know, right now, where they're at in the situations, like external situations, th um, 3D situation, karmic situation, whatever you want to call it, okay, yeah, they're just not fulfilled whatsoever, okay? Not fulfilled whatsoever. And I feel a purge is definitely in order for Divine Masculine, which may be why they're switching into the feminine energy at this point, you know, is to deal with that, okay? And I do feel... Whatever information's come forward with Divine Masculine, I feel honestly has actually hurt them very deeply, even though they may not be admitting it to themselves. But there's, you know, these cups here, um, to me, especially the Three of Cups and, in reverse and the Ten of Cups in reverse, Divine Masculine very much in his feelings, okay? Um, and some of you Divine Feminines, you may be feeling that from your Divine Masculine, okay? Maybe making you feel very emotional yourself. Um, you may be feeling very drained, tired. Okay, um, so keep that in mind. And of course, how do we respond to that? You know, you still want to send them love, send them forgiveness, okay? Because they need that right now. All right, a lot of them just can't seem to forgive themselves for anything. And of course, third parties here, very much highlighted, okay? So I am getting specifically having to do with a karmic situation of some kind, you know, where there's financial codependency, okay? Not necessarily emotional codependency, okay? All right, so Divine Feminine, well, Divine Feminine, there you go. You must have recently hit a tower or you're about to hit a tower. You're going through a tower right now and that's your trigger right there. So some of you, this message that you've received is your tower. Maybe it's the tower you've been praying for. Maybe it's the tower you've been hoping would come in to help you move forward. Okay. Um, so thank the universe <laughs> for the tower and uh, learn from it. Yeah, so so this tower, whatever this is, Divine Feminine, has come in to really help you deal with some sort of toxicity here. And I do feel that it's it's really, it's something that I feel that Divine Feminine has been dealing with for a while. But what this has done is this has put Divine Feminine in a position that she can be completely open and honest, not only with others around her, but with herself. Okay, so um, use that opportunity, <laughs> you know, um, use it to move forward for your benefit, okay? There's something that you need to speak, or maybe maybe this this right here is you. This right here might be you, that you need to speak your truth, that you need to send a message to someone, okay? And regardless of the effect that it may have, if you don't do this, okay, you're just going to keep yourself stuck, right? So stop overthinking it, okay? Release the expectations, okay? Um... And just do what you're guided to do. Don't question it. Just do what you're guided to do. Okay? And so that being said, Divine Feminine, you're being triggered to speak your truth. This is what you're healing right now. Okay? Um, which is going to help you to release release some of this guilt. I feel like a lot of Divine Feminines have been feeling, for some reason, have been feeling very guilty. But also resentful. Some of you have some resent coming in. Okay? And so you're being pushed to deal with that okay and by speaking your truth by openly admitting how you feel to yourself and to someone else possibly um it's going to help you to do that it's going to help you get out of the stuck energy some of you have been here for a hot minute right okay and it's also going to help you to come out of this make <laughs> this feeling like you're not good enough you're not worth it that you know you've been rejected Okay, when in reality, you're just rejecting yourself right now. Okay. Um, and so that being said, I mean, it's going to help you to not going to help you to not resist the triggers because I feel like some of you have been resisting your triggers. Like some of you have been purposefully avoiding certain things to resist the triggers. And I get that, you know, I talked about like watching readings and whatnot. And I did stop watching readings for a while, but not because I was resisting triggers, honestly. I, I felt like it was keeping me stuck, um, and I was guided to just stop, so I did. 
Um, but if you're not watching readings because you're afraid of the triggers, well, that's not a good reason, you know, because you could learn something from that reading. You know, there could be a message in there. It, there could be an epiphany in there. You know what I mean? Um, and actually, I'm being guided to kind of go back to watching collective readings. Um, I'm going to test the waters and see how I do. Um, but yeah, some of you have been resisting the triggers. And so I do feel whatever this tower is, um, is going to kind of help you um, process process all of this and to, to kind of help you move forward here to release the resentment um, and to stop resisting the triggers okay because if you resist the triggers you're not gonna go anywhere you're just gonna stay stuck you know it's kind of like <laughs> <coughs> divine feminine's kind of in masculine energy right now and is like out of sight out of mind right it doesn't work that way but you know, sometimes we like to deceive ourselves that it does. Okay, so healing within the connection. Well, there you go. We've got the Nine of Swords and we've got the Eight of Swords. So right now in the connection itself, it's like you're basically healing this anxious, trapped energy. Some of you have been feeling trapped in the connection. Some of you seriously have been feeling trapped in the connection. Like you can't get rid of it. It doesn't go away. You feel tortured by it. You know, if you're in separation, it just makes it worse that you can't seem to get this person out of your head. You have dreams of them all the time. You hear me song messages, yada, yada, yada. So again, some of you may be, you know, watching the readings over and over and over again. It's keeping you stuck in that mindset um, of constantly wanting to know what your counterpart is doing, constantly wanting to know what's going to happen, you know, and it keeps you kind of stuck in this obsessive loop, right? So some of you may need to just take a break. Take a break, you know, do your own readings or get a personal reading or, um, you know, be very selective in, in what kind of reading you watch. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, that's one of the reasons why I do what I do on my channel. I know a lot of um, readers only focus on Divine Masculine for Divine Feminine's sake, but I do both because, number one, we switch back and forth between energies all the time. Number two... You know there are plenty of divine masculines that watch my channel and i know that and, and a lot of divine a lot of the divine masculines that watch my channel have unawakened divine feminines okay uh, so there are no rules it's not just divine feminine that wakes up first it's not okay um and so i do try to focus on both because honestly i'm just here to give you guidance mainly on your healing obviously um and on what you probably need to focus on and, and the things that are coming up in your life and the meaning behind them so that's really what I'm focusing on at this point um, and I do the connecting energies because I do think it's important to understand what what your counterpart is going through but the fact that you're mirroring all the time and how it's manifesting in the connection itself right and so that's why I do what I do um, so some of you are being guided I think to to kind of be careful with what you watch okay and this is not avoiding triggers necessarily, okay? But you don't want to unnecessarily trigger yourself either. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. Um, so, but obviously that's up to your own guidance. Um, let your guidance guide you as far as that goes, okay? Um, but yeah, a lot of you are being led out of this deception. And again, lies we tell ourselves. The lies we tell ourselves can be the most I think the most destructive. I think the lies we tell ourselves are more destructive than the lies anybody else could tell us. Okay? And that's because you're literally sabotaging yourself. You're telling yourself a lie and you're believing it. And that's what's keeping you stuck. So a lot of you are being guided out of this self-deception right now. And a lot of you are also being guided to to raise your uh, vibration and, and this healing, whatever's going on right now with this tower and everything that you're dealing with is going to help you to kind of bring this right side up. Because again, some of you have been in such a low energy, you can't even manifest the things that you want and it's making you even more frustrated. So you're stuck in this frustrated cycle over and over and over again. And instead of healing what you need to heal, you're just focusing on the fact that you can't manifest or you're focusing on the fact that you're in separation or no communication or whatever it may be. Okay? And it, yeah, it's keeping you from claiming, literally claiming victory over your triggers at this point. Okay? Um, so some again, healing, well, boom, there's the Six of Swords right there. Okay, so this is a transformative period, believe it or not, no matter the hardships you're going through, 
no matter how how difficult it may be you know you are going through a transformation you are going through a healing process so just accept it and move on but some of you are just so stuck in this rejection mode stop rejecting yourself stop just stop stop rejecting yourself okay your twin is not rejecting you your twin is rejecting themselves okay think about it that way your twin is rejecting themselves okay and so what do you need to do well duh make a decision get out of the indecision guys just just go with the flow okay whatever source is showing you to do do it don't even think about it don't question it just do it yeah just do it all right let's go ahead and get some messages from the counterparts today see what they got to say Yeah, so some of you just need to bring your vibration up. Again, your counterpart can feel it when you're in a low vibration. Boom, triggers and towers. Boom, I've been living a lie, yes. Yes, you have. Mm -hmm. mm, sexual energy coming in. Mm-hmm. So again, guys, this may be coming for some of you, okay? So just be prepared because <laughs> it may bring you this, all right? Just be aware, okay? All right, let's see what Source has to say about healing, what we need to do, what we need to focus on. I think self-acceptance is the main thing. I, th I feel like a lot of you are back at the self-acceptance thing. I, I know that this has been a rough year. <laughs> Not just for Divine Masculine, but for everybody. This has been a rough year. And so a lot of you are feeling left out in the cold, especially, you know, if you've been furloughed or, um, you know, whatever. Your work from home and you don't you don't see anybody ever. You know, trust me, this isolationism, the isolationism is getting to me. Okay, my daughter is not even here. You know, I'm just... <laughs> my apartment i'm just like eh, i'm a hermit now um you know i have my spiritual people but it's not like i mean we we do on video and whatnot but <laughs> human interaction would be nice um so yeah okay so some of you some of you just need to to really expand your vision right now some of you just really need to expand your vision be creative think outside the box okay and be secure within yourself some of you are very very insecure right now i, I get it I get it totally get it okay the circumstances right now are very un unstable we're not sure what's gonna happen day to day and but that's where faith comes in that's where faith comes in you can take it day by day right some of you need to return to your meditation some of you have taken a break from this some of you have taken a break and it's okay to take a break but you need to return to it okay some of you need to sh seriously show some forgiveness right now not to yourself absolutely to your counterpart, absolutely. To those around you, absolutely. To your karmic, absolutely. Remember, we are all karmics to someone. Okay? We play both roles. All right? Don't hate the karmic. Love the karmic. Okay? Some of you, friendship is very important right now. Some of you need to reach out to like-minded individuals so you don't feel so alone. And you know what? This is a great time to utilize the forum. I'm being 100% serious. DivinePisces222.com backslash forum. Um, you can connect to other people going through a spiritual journey and not feel so lonely, especially right now, okay? Yeah, some of you just need to seriously have hope, okay? Everything's going to be fine. Surrender. That's the, that's the theme, I think. Some of you really need to pay attention to your dreams. Some of you are getting a lot of messages through dreams right now, okay, on how to heal what's going on right now, or some of you may even know what's coming because you've had a dream about it already, Okay? So pay attention to that. It's very, very important. It's going to lead you somewhere. Trust me. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I really hope that this helped. If it has, please like, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.